Hello everybody, my name is Leo. Um, this time around, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick update on my car, what I've been up to, what's been happening to the car, my future plans with the car, and this is the first time I'm ever showing you guys my face. So peace from PR, mad respect to all you guys who support the channel, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Here's the babe, you know, sitting pretty. She's all dirty and shit. Um, so I've been up to a couple things with the car, actually. I haven't told you guys about a couple things. Um, first thing I did was actually tune the car. I tuned with um, NT Tuning, my Mayito Tuning here in Puerto Rico. He tunes in Panama. In Costa Rica and a um, couple other countries as well um, he's a great tuner mad props to him he made um, something happen on my car that I've never seen happen before it's the most power I've ever made on my car the two-step is insane and I'm gonna show you guys a clip of my two-step I'm not gonna do that now cuz it's already getting dark and I don't want my neighbors to hate me for that Anyways, so I tuned my car. I bought a, a BBL 70 millimeter um, throttle body and installed that. I'm gonna show you guys right now how that looks like. Boom. So getting a bit dark so I'm gonna show you guys real quick this is the new BDL throttle body I installed there we go but I was messing with it today because I am getting um, a high uh, idle it's about it's around at 1400 rpms and I don't know if you can see it but my elbow from the throttle body to the intake broke I'm gonna use flash so you guys can see so you can see real quick I broke the elbow. It, it's not um, anything that can be fixed. You would just buy a new one for like 20 bucks. But yeah, there is how the engine is looking. I had to bend the throttle cable, whatever, because um, it it was um, this thing wasn't stiff enough, and the cable wasn't stiff enough. And right now it's um, it's kind of bent right now, but this is just temporary fix until I get that sorted out. The other thing I was having problems with was the map sensor. It's supposed to be here. Um, it was here up until today. I put it over here. Um, it's a long story. I could explain, but uh, I take forever to explain to you guys. Long story short is the map sensor could go here, but it's not getting enough air because this um, intake manifold does not have a hole for the map sensor. So I had to put my sensor here. I don't know if you can see the sensor. There it is. So yeah. So as I said, I tuned the car. Um, it made 222 wheel horsepower and 152 wheel torque. So from the last time I tuned, I was making 222 at the wheels and 150 and 165 to the wheels that was the time i tuned the car before i hydro locked it so when i hydro locked it i went again to tune the only change i did to my setup was swap the rbc manifold to the skunk 2 ultra street manifold we just saw and that ended up um making me lose around 20 horsepower wheel horsepower that is so i was not um happy with that i uh I ended up changing tuners not because I wanted but because of the availability of my manual tuning, MT tuning. So he ended up um, getting my car to rev till 9300 RPM. Um, I have springs and retainers, Supertech springs and retainers and valve guides and Ferrea valves. 
so the car is capable of doing that but before mt tuned it i was um redlining at 8500 rpm so there was still some room for improvement he told me that thanks to the intake manifold that i have the my uh, dyno graph kept going up all the way the more rpms he gave to the car so we were at 88 and the car was making more power we turned it up to 9000 rpm and the car even made more power so he ended up um boosting it to 9300 rpm and the car made 226 uh, wheel horsepower and i am mad happy with the results the car feels like a completely different thing and i'm speechless with the results really so in order to do the 226 i made i removed my engine um hydro shield as you can see i don't know if you can see the name um this thing you know i i have mixed feelings about it it works but it doesn't work at the same time because when i hydro like the car it had the hydro shield on it um so that's that and i also removed my uh fog light cover or whatever so the air on my engine and colder intake can get more air through the fog since it's to the fog light where the intake runs it gets more air without this being there restricting the air from going through the fog light it doesn't look as pretty but then again i can just put this whenever i feel like it and the car makes more power believe it or not without that thing on it's we made the test it made 220 with the cover and 226 without the cover so six horsepower for removing such an um, insignificant piece part in the fog lights i'm game i'm down so yeah so i'm gonna do a quick start for you guys a cold start for that matter um i'm gonna speak a bit a little bit louder because i don't know if you guys can hear me because of the car so as it turns out my engine check light is on check engine light is on because of the map sensor as i said earlier so the car is idling a bit higher than usual the next step is i'm gonna go get um you, I don't, you can't really see it my wide band connected i already have the sensor connected but i am missing the uh power cable and i'm going to buy that um tomorrow and install that as soon as possible so my wide band is up and running and that's actually what i've been up to with the car guys um i really want to thank you guys for watching my videos i'm going to go ahead and include uh, a clip of how the car sounds now well with the two-step and whatnot and I just want to make sure you guys, if you're not subscribed, to watch my other videos and subscribe. And please stick around because I'm going to be posting uh, more videos every once in a while. And as I said, you guys, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, and see you guys later.